the clouds. What is behind the scene for the smoke effect? Let's look at today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the changes in the state of matter. After today's lesson, you are able to describe the change in state of matter in terms of movement of particles caused by the absorption and the release of heat based on kinetic theory. There are many substances that undergo changes of matter due to absorption or release of heat in our life. What happens to the matter when heat is absorbed or released? Matter can change from one state to another when heat is absorbed or released. Changes in the state of matter occur during melting, boiling, freezing, evaporation, condensation and sublimation. Let's see one by one. What is melting? Melting is a physical process that turns solid into liquid. For example, ice melts into water. Look at the three solids. What happens if they are placed under the hot sun for half an hour? When the solids are placed under the hot sun, the particles absorb heat energy from the sun. With more energy, the particles are able to vibrate faster than normal. The longer they are placed under the sun, the more energy they are absorbed. At a certain point, the particles vibrate so fast and break free from their close arrangement. After a while, the particles are able to move about freely when the temperature reaches the melting point. The chocolate melts and solid turns into liquid. Next, let's learn about boiling. Boiling is a physical process where liquid turns into gas. For example, when you boil water, water turns into water vapor or steam. Look at this diagram. What happened to the water after a while? When the water is heated, the water particles absorb heat energy. The particles obtain energy and move faster. Heat is used to break the bond between the liquid particles. When the temperature reaches the boiling point, the particles move freely and randomly. Water turns into steam. So, liquid turns into gas during boiling. What is evaporation? During evaporation, liquid turns into gas. For example, if you dry some clothes under the hot sun, the clothes dry after a few hours. This is because water turned into water vapor. Look at the puddles of water. We always see puddles of water after the rain. These puddles disappear after a few hours in the sun. Why? Where does the water go? The puddles of water disappear after a few hours. This happens because water particles absorb heat energy from the sun. The particles obtain energy and move faster and more randomly. Water is evaporated slowly and turns into steam. So, liquid turns into gas during evaporation. Both boiling and evaporation turn liquid into gas. But evaporation is different from boiling because evaporation takes place slowly at any temperature below the boiling point of the liquid and it occurs only on the surface of the liquid. Next, let's learn about freezing. During freezing, liquid turns into solid. For example, water turns into ice. Liquid releases heat energy when it is cooled. Particles lose energy, move slower and come closer together. Particles start to vibrate at a fixed position. When they reach freezing point, water turns into ice and liquid turns into solid during freezing. What is condensation? During condensation, gas turns into liquid. For example, Water vapor or steam turns into water. 
Let's look at this activity. Heat some water in a test tube with a Bunsen burner. Keep heating until you see steam being formed. Place a mirror in a slanting position over the test tube. When the steam comes into contact with the mirror, the water vapour releases heat energy. The particles lose energy and move slower and closer to one another. When the temperature is equal to or below the boiling point, steam turns into water droplets on the surface of the mirror. So, gas turns into liquid during condensation. Next, let's learn about sublimation. What is sublimation? Sublimation is a process where solid turns into gas or gas turns into solid. Look at the snow on top of the mountain. We know that snow melts under the sun and disappears. Can snow on the top of the mountain disappear without melting? The snow can disappear without melting. Snow changes directly into its gaseous state through the process of sublimation. To investigate sublimation, let's look at this activity. Put some iodine crystal into a test tube. Heat the iodine with a Bunsen burner in a film chamber. What happened to the iodine after a while? When it is heated, the particles of iodine absorb heat energy. With more energy, the particles break loose from their positions and move randomly at a higher speed. As a result, the iodine crystals change to purple vapor. The solid changes directly to its gaseous state without going through the liquid phase. We say that sublimation occurred. Sublimation is a process in which a solid directly turns into gas. Can the iodine vapour become solid again? Let's see. After several days, the iodine vapour cools down to room temperature. During this process, the iodine vapour releases heat. This loss of heat causes the iodine vapour to change from gas to solid. This physical process is also called sublimation. Next, let's make a conclusion on what we have learned. Melting, boiling or evaporation, and sublimation from solid to gas are the processes that involve heat absorption. Freezing, condensation, and sublimation from gas to solid are the processes that happen when heat is released to the surrounding. So, what is behind the scene for this smoke effect? Dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide. Dry ice undergoes sublimation and turns into carbon dioxide gas. Therefore, it can be used to create a smoke effect during film production. That's all for today's topic.